The newest blog on blogs.gcu.edu is the College of Education blog, Teaching in Purple. Joining me today is Marjane Gilpatrick, the Executive Director of Educational Outreach. <music> So can you tell me what this blog initiative is about? Well, the College of Education blog, it's called Teaching in Purple. And what we really would like to do is uh, try to tell our audience about inspirational stories and uh, of teachers that are doing great things in classrooms and in the hopes of that those stories will inspire our audience to uh, find out what their passion is about teaching and explore that further. And what is your vision for the blog? Our vision for the blog is to reach as many uh, future educators as possible and try to ignite their passion for teaching. And what will your audience find on this blog that they can't find anyplace else? So what they'll find is really dedicated and committed individuals who are passionate about teaching, about making learning fun and exciting and interesting and relevant and about how they go about finding that inner strength to keep on uh, doing what they do best, to keep their best practices, to really inspire children, to do their best, and to learn and grow. So you have three regular contributors on the blog, as well as some guest contributors. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Well, one of our um, guest contributors was the former director of the Arizona Future Educators Association. And so he worked very closely with um, future teachers and high school children that were looking into going into teaching. Um, another one of our uh, regular contributors is Katie Martin, and she's uh, a field experience specialist. She works uh, daily with our university faculty supervisors who go out and supervise our student teachers as they are completing their student teaching experience. And so she has a lot to say about, you know, what those, in, what those faculty members are looking for and how they're inspiring and guiding and mentoring our student teachers. I noticed that each month features a new topic featuring education. What steps do you take when you choose what topic you want to write about? Well, we have an editorial board that is composed of various individuals that are from the College of Education, as well as our Strategic Educational Alliances Department. And so we gather together, we collaborate, and we look at the current issues and trends, and we try to determine what is the best topic for that month. What are some of the most important aspects that you want to share with the students? Some of the most important aspects that we'd like to share is uh, what is the foundation of our College of Education, which is learning, leading, and serving. So we'd like our students to really remember and keep in mind that education is, all, is very cyclical. And you know, you are, above all, you're a continuous learner. And as a classroom teacher, you're also leading um, your, your charges, which are your students. And ultimately, you do that with a heart of servant. Um, so you're always in service, you are trying to do your best, and you are uh, making a difference in the future. And how can the readers get involved and discuss the topics that are on your blog? Well, as they read uh, the blogs, they can respond. They can make a comment in the comment section. And we'll make every effort to make sure that our contributors and our bloggers are responding to them and they engage with them. Can they also email you ideas or something that they want to hear about, anything like that? That's a great idea. Yes, we, look, we welcome all comments and, and suggestions for future blogs. And what are the driving factors that led you to GCU? For me personally, I came to GCU because I was um, very much interested and committed to making a difference. And I, as a former, edu as a former classroom teacher, I knew that if I was working with um, future teachers, I would have so much more of an impact on the future. Um, when, when I was teaching in my classroom, I would work with, let's say, 150 students per day uh, or per year. Um, and so each year I would have an impact on 150 students. But as a teacher educator, I am working with future teachers who each of them are working with anywhere between 30 to 150 students 
per year. So when you multiply that, the effect is astronomical. So when the opportunity became available to come here, and it aligned with my personal vision and mission, it was a no-brainer. It was a win-win. Okay, well, thank you for coming and speaking with me today. Thank you. And if you want to check out the blogs, you can check them out at blogs.gcu.edu. I'm Ashley Romantic with GCU TV. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.